We got the green parallel here. Cable. Cable pack. So recently with Upper Deck, when you have a sleeve, you likely have a hit, obviously, but it's it's also possibly a sketch. But I don't think this is a sketch. I think it's a what is up everybody spotty here and as always I hope you're having a marvelous day. I've got a treat for you. I'm with my brother Dustin. What's up guys? And we are at a Mexican restaurant eating some chips and queso. We have a first look at Upper Deck's newest release as in it today is the day of the release of Clear Ultra Midnight Sun. Very interesting product because they haven't done one theme this way before for a product that is as premium as Clear Ultra. So I'm excited to get into it and share it with you all up next. Have not opened the box, Dustin. And since we're doing this at the restaurant, kind of unplanned. Very unplanned. I have to use my keys. Because what I was going to do for lunch once I realized that the product had actually delivered was to run home and record. Very nice. I haven't seen very much of this product at all as far as doing like, like the research and seeing the previews. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to do it. There you go. Yeah, I'm going in blind. I have no idea how the art is. Is it original art? Is it? Oh yeah, it's original art. Most most of the Fleer Ultra product is going to be original art. So, it's that new every day. So like uh, Fleer Ultra Avengers, original art. Uh, original, yeah. Um, the Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, Fleer Ultra X-Men, original art, and this is a similar box. Taking a quick look at this. And this is the macabre release. This is the dark, you know, side of the Marvel Universe for the most part. Take a quick look at that. You can get a glimpse of, you know, you're talking about vampires. We're talking about ghosts. You know, those type of uh, creatures. We got Blade. And we have Ghost Rider. And I think this is Doctor Strange's wife. Okay. Makes sense. I think that's who it is. But all that's to say is there's going to be a number of characters in here that we don't know. <laughs> uh, but that's part of the reason you collect Marvel cards is you get to learn about characters you've never seen before. And our first unwrapping is our knife because we've got to break the seal. And my friend, what company did these come from? Upper Deck. Once the seal is broken, the value is gone. All that's left is a good time. And so our lunch break today is breaking a box of Marvel cards. Very nice surprise. This is a this is a new thing for me. Lunch breaks. This is what I'm calling. <laughs> lunch breaks. One of our first uh, packs we were opening was at a Waffle House. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Way way back. Way way back. Let's get some space here. You know the real challenge is to not get food articles on really nice product, I'll which this is. So, this is a bit of me, you know, wanting to open it as fast as possible. That's just the reality. So we get, looks like six cards here. Again, this should follow the same kind of structure as other Fleer Ultras. First thing you want to notice is that the foiling is along the edges, which is so much better than Fleer Ultra Avengers. That product did not do well after release because the foiling went all the way across the, the back and it hid the art. So we got Wasp, Morbius, look at that. Morbius fan. Ah, look at that. Look at like the shine that's hanging out the back there. That's pretty sick though. I have to I, I like that. That's actually pretty cool. We'll look at the back of the cards in a second. Okay, we've got a parallel. So this is the green parallel. And you can see how it does, you know, denote that it's a parallel, but it doesn't like hide the arc, which is which was a problem for all drug <laughs> oh, you got a shiny. We got a shiny. Oh, so in this product is something called medallions, just like Blue Ultra Avengers, mm -hmm. but it is actually a callback to sports. And our first medallion is going to be Hulk. Nice. That is actually pretty nice. Yeah, that looks good on the foil. Oh wow. Yeah, that is a oh, gold. Cool. So gold typically is numbered to 199, and that is no, nope, this was numbered to 200, but it's 109 to 200. So that's actually going to be one of our big hits of this box. 
pretty. The cool thing about this, in our last card, by the way, whoa, I want to skip that. Spirit of Vengeance, that's Cosmic Ghost Rider, also known as Punisher, mm -hmm. who takes on the mantle of the Herald of Galactus. So think Silver Surfer is, well, think of the Herald like Silver Surfer, but it's Punisher as Ghost Rider. Take care, Galactus. Thank you, Donnie Cates. That's who wrote that storyline. Okay, let's look at the backs real quick. Here's the back of this one. It says silver. So that's interesting. I wonder if there is like a difference between them. So we'll have to see, check that out. And let's not damage our medallion here at the restaurant. And then, did we see this one, Scarecrow? That was our last card. That's actually pretty, pretty sick. That's what the back looks like. I like the back design. It says silver as well. Okay, so the parallel is going to be listed on the back, I believe. So we'll look at this one, and that one says green. All right. So we don't have to study the checklist to know if it's a parallel. So base parallel is going to be silver. All right. I'm going to let Dustin open one in a second, guys. No, no, no. Give me a second. All right, we got Topaz, your favorite uh, something. We got Ghost Dog Bats. Hey, I've seen Bats before. It's actually not his first card, I don't think. That's cool. Our hit spot for the green parallels here, and this is this says Robbie Reyes. Robbie Reyes is one of the Ghost Riders, the younger one. And we got another medallion, and this one's going to be our Jessica Jones, our street clothes superhero. And here we have another uh, spellcraft story. Okay. So this looks like this is a comic book image that reflects some moment in time of the character. This is the base silver, okay? And we got Dormammu. Now remember, this is all original art. Some of it's digital, some of it is gonna be traditional. Now look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty crazy, okay? Back to the beginning. All right, we're only two packs here. Gotta keep going. Can't let the video get too long. This is a nice treat, so keep going. This is the appetizer. <laughs> yeah, we're having our appetizer. Lilith Drake. Lilith is, um, I think she dies, and I think she might have been Dracula's wife. Lilith will be Dracula's wife, which is going to be Drake. Yeah. Linda, Little Trees. <laughs> Little Trees, Linda. It's a cool card. Cool art. The sketches in this pack? Oh, yeah. It uh, definitely has sketches. We got Lilith Drake again. This is our green parallel. And our hit here is a red. And this is the, let's see, I can't read it here. The the magical artifacts, Dark Hold. Interesting. I don't know who that is. And this one is numbered. This number to 100. So that's number 50 of 100 or 80 of 100. It's like 80. 80 of 100. Red. Jack Russell once found the dark hole. Okay. That's our red parallel. I like the red on there. That looks good. Ooh. Sorry, I'm going to jump ahead to this one. That is, as we thought, Clea Strange, Dr. Strange's wife, great art. It's the reason they, hard. yeah, it's the reason they put that on the cover of the box. Yeah, <laughs> lots of ladies so far. In this box. If you collect the ladies, especially kind of the off the grid ones, you know, it's, uh, you might really enjoy this. All right, we got Falcon. This is a uh, and uh, how do you say that name? Alondre. Alondre Jones. I suspect there's a different way to say that. Probably. But she is the female Ghost Rider. We got our green parallel of Hellcat. Appropriate. And Electra. Oh, that looks fantastic. And the thing that's interesting about this as well, that's the actual art that was used on the sell sheet. Oftentimes they give us kind of made up art and it's not what's on the sell sheet. Why is that important? Because they did show the Spider Man. So we might already know what the Spider Man looks like. And speaking of Spider Man, Look at there. There he is. Hiding in the background. That's our first Spidey hit. And this is one of our 
artifacts is Dr. Strange showing off the Eye of Agamotto. There we go. And Blade. That does look good. You know, when you're looking at a product like Midnight Suns, and you think your vampires are going to be your like top characters in it, you want great art for Blade, and I think we got it. That looks fantastic. Back to Falcon. Okay, let's keep going. So two numbered hits already, and we're four packs in. So normally when you're opening up a product like this, you don't see a sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> what, I was, what I was going to say is you don't get more than one numbered hit, more than two numbered hits. But look at that cable. It's like old man cable, kind of. Although cable has an older man look, you know, because he's All from right, the yeah. future. We got Blades and Skull. Man, if you're a Ghost Rider fan, oh, you're happy. this is the product for you. We got the green parallel here. Cable. Cable pack. So, recently with Upper Deck, when you have a sleeve, you likely have a hit, obviously, but it's it's also possibly a sketch. But I don't think this is a sketch. I think it's a comic cut. That would be cool. Let's just look at it. Whoa! That's not what I was expecting. Dark green. I don't know. Dark text. Dark text. Let's get back to the rest of these. Let's finish. Oh, it's a booklet. Booklet. Yeah. Wow. Let's slide that baby out. What is in here? Look at that. Look at that text. Oh, and it feels nice, too. It says Eldritch Book Bolt. Eldritch Bolt. I'm not going to read any words, my friend. That's the definition of uh, it, I think. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Morbius. Wow. That looks pretty awesome. What a neat design. But it doesn't say it's numbered. Okay. So I don't know what the rarity is on something like this. DT1? DT1, so dark text one. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, you want to hold it. He wants to hold it. You can hold it and put it back in. I'm going to keep going. It's a little booklet. It's a little booklet. It's a dark text. All right, there we go. We got our cars here. Oh, we got to finish looking at that stack. I almost forgot the rest of these here and our last card back to cable. All right, keep going. Who is this? We got Dagger. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's Simone Bianchi, dude. Oh, wow. Simone Bianchi art. Absolutely tell. He does his sci fi backgrounds. He likes that. Oh, is that the Joker? Dark Hold Dwarf. It's a little Joker. And then we have Damien Hellstrom, Son of the Devil. That's our green parallel. And, oh, we got a match for our Gold Hulk, our base medallion. And then we have Journey into Mystery. These covers are classic. Classic covers. That's cool. Don't think it's numbered. It's not. And then we've got Zarathos. Not familiar with him. Let's keep going. Okay, we're halfway through the box. Halfway through. Boom. And here we go. We've got Adam Warlock. Meat Market. <laughs> Another cover here. Beware. That's in, that's in an interesting spot of our box. It's not numbered. Our next card, ooh, almost dropped it. Ah, Spidey senses. Who is that? There's no, there's no. That's not normal. I know, but there's, I think it's Dracula, but there's nothing on the, there's no foiling or anything. Huh. Andre Mister, or Meister. Ultra Shades. Ultra Shades card. That's pretty cool. I, I tell you what. I like that design. I like the simplicity of just having the Fleur Ultra Midnight Suns down there. That's good. Then we got the one and only Mighty Thor, Jane Foster. Mjolnir is actually the point of that card. And then we've got Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's the actual base card for Cosmic Ghost Rider. Okay. Keep going. Okay. 
Are they having a good time near us? Ooh, storm. There we go. Someone got lucky storms in this. Yeah. Captain Omen, you know, if you're a character collector, you're looking for your person, right? No gambits, but I'm still having fun with it. Okay, this is the spell effects stories. This is the green parallel of that. Who we got here? Wong? Look at that. That might be the best looking Wong card ever. <laughs> and another cover here, Strange Tales. And another Simone Bianchi art, this time of Captain Marvel. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Back to Storm. Here, you look at that. See if it says the artist on the back. It does say the artist. That's cool. Glad to see that. We got Martine Backcroft. Very interesting. Taboo. We got the parallel of Miss Bancroft. Bancroft, I should say. What is this? What is this? Look at that. That is Lilith. That is an acetate and it's raised too. Oh wow. See how the card yes. sits on top of that? That is cool. That is number, oh, this is the Hellfire insert set. That's what this is. It's called Hellfire. Nice. It's a pretty card. It really is. <laughs> Damien Drum, also known as Dr. Voodoo, or Brother Voodoo, Brother Voodoo. Brother Voodoo. Pretty good hit so far, I think. I think we're, uh, I think we're having a good time. All right, look at that, Deathlock. That's sick. Yeah. I looked up how strong he was recently. It's really incredible. Whoa, Spider X. Cool art. You know this is appropriate. Let me tell you why. I've read where like spiders are still like the number one thing people are afraid of. That in public speaking. But I think it may be as public speaking than spiders. So this is like the nightmare version of being a Spider-Man fan. We got our parallel for Storm. And... We got Death Rider for our medallion. And we have our spell crafts. Last card here is Blackout. Blackout. Okay. Mm, two more packs. Two more packs, everybody. Ooh, is that Black Panther? And is that Simone Bianchi Black Panther? Wow. Yeah. That's going to hit Lewis where it counts because he loves Black Panther, he loves Simone. Yeah. Ooh, we've seen this art. That is saber tooth. That is sick. Good Isn't it nasty? Look at, the, look at the close up on that. It's the artist on that. I don't know. Let's see. The artist is Nicholas Gregory. And we got our green pair. Yeah, they give, them, give you both of them at the same time. Whoa! That's exciting. Once you get that, you usually get a hit. Blackheart. Look, look at the design on that. Ultra abilities. Blackheart. That's cool. It's not numbered. It's just four of thirty. Wow. And our spellcraft. Who we got on there? Is that magic? I don't know. I'm curious. And then Man Thing. Art on that's pretty awesome. All right. So it's like me, but whenever you get the base and then the green, there was usually a hit to follow. I think that's the hit spot. I think you're right. I think you are right. The hit spot follows the parallel. The parallel is one per pack. All right, we got Robbie Reyes again. Uh oh. There's Vengeance. Man, look at that, guys. Pretty insane art. Got a green of, is that our second one? Uh, I don't know if it was green. Okay. Whoa, Carnage. No Carnage was in this. Look at that. Carnage medallion. That means there's a gold of this, a green, a one of one, black opal, a Carnage. Cool art. Dude. Take a look at that. All right, if you're a Carnage fan, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Then we got Goat. 
Goose Rider, not Ghost Rider. Goose Rider. Okay. Spirit of Vengeance. And Monstrosity. Monstrosity. Okay. Well, that is our first box. That is our first look at Blue Roll for Midnight Suns. What was your favorite? I like that raised acetate a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, that was really cool. Uh, what about you? Ooh, that's a good the question. It's actually really cool too. The booklet was awesome. The ultra abilities design was really good. Uh, my favorite card though, hmm, probably the Hulk gold medallion still. Probably my favorite card. Yeah. yeah. What are these boxes running right now? Around 200 bucks. That's not bad. Yep, around 200 bucks. Look, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you enjoyed this content, you want to see more Marvel card content, hit the subscribe button. But as always, I hope you have a marvelous day.